Sorry. Hey guys, this is Mike from New Bedford Guide. We're down here at 1103 Kempton Street at the Walgreens um, doing the Fill the Bus, which is in New Bedford, a Cushnet for Haven and Dartmouth. I just came from the Target in Dartmouth and it looks great. We're here with uh, the organizer, Jerry, in uh, Walgreens. So Jerry, talk about today, what's going on? Today, we're filling the bus. At all the locations, as you said, we are encouraging folks just to get involved, to help take care of our community, not just one person. And we partnered up with my friend here, Rick, at Walgreens on Kempton Street, which, Rick, my pleasure. Well, this wouldn't be possible without you, my man. My pleasure, my pleasure. So, so why does Walgreens want to be a part of this? Well, we, we want to give back to our community, you know. And, and, you know, we come across folks like Jerry, who's unbelievable, by the way, just an unbelievable person. Um, and it's our pleasure to help him out, because. He's directly involved helping people in the community. So we're just trying to help him do what he needs to do. So thank you. So what's going on? What's the times today, Jerry? Well, today was going to be a 24-hour bid, but because of the weather, we're going to come back next week, next Saturday, and do another 10 hours versus the 24-hour straight. And again, it's just because of the weather's wet and runny, but most of the, lo uh, the locations, like the Target, the Walmart, that's going to be till 4 p.m. We have another one over at Wonder Bowl, which will be till 4 p.m. We'll probably stay here till about 4 or 5 o'clock today, and that will pretty much wrap everything up. Wonder Bowl will, is, well, it's gonna stay till 6, but we're gonna go again till 4 or 5 o'clock there. The boat restaurant will be shut down at 2 because they close at 2, but that's pretty much that schedule. Walgreens right now, 1103 Kempton. Um, I got the list of, of places you can go. So what, are, what can people bring? Any non-violent toy, you get puzzles, car games, dolls, but our major focus this year is on middle school age and high school age students because we believe by using basketballs and footballs, tennis rackets, golf clubs, board games, that will help engage the family into activity and keep our kids off the streets and away from that temptation. And it's a partnership with the police officers. Also, New Bedford Police Department will be here shortly. Along, we, again, Dartmouth, New Bedford, for Haven, Acquisition at Police Department. We even it to some degree of partnering with the state police also. K through 12? K through 12. So that's basically up to, through high school, bring out gifts. Uh, Target was pretty full, for Haven's pretty full, but you still swing by? You can still swing by and you can drop it off at any one of the police stations, New Bedford, Dartmouth, Haven, Acquisition, et cetera. Any police station through the 20th to 24th of the month. So I see, I see a lot of the Walgreens employees bringing out stuff, so people can go inside, buy stuff, and and, and your employees will bring it out, I saw. Sure, sure, absolutely, we're here to help. Yeah, so great job, Walgreens, we appreciate it. My pleasure, my pleasure. So Jerry, tell me, when did this start? I started this with my friend Scott, La Scott Lemieux and Lauren over at the Boat Restaurant back in 2011, and we've just grown and grown. I think it's all started with an idea. We heard the cake did it, it was called Stuff a Bus, but it bothered us hearing that those toys were only for the cape and the commercial. So we said we need to do something for everybody. And that's when we came up with Fill the Bus originally at the boat. What were the numbers last year? Last year we did, I think about 15 to 2,200 toys. We're going to beat that this year? Oh yeah, we've given them to the public schools. We have a formula made up with them throughout New Bedford along with the other neighboring towns. But again, we've gone as far as Far River. St. Vincent's home, they always get a load from me of toys. And then we keep toys throughout the year, so when we host our family fun days, Buddy Andre did one over the summer, I made sure every kid that went to that event received something. So, so where, are, the, where if, are these toys going for the holiday season? To families that we know of that need the help, we do a little piece where we get in the school bus with police escort and actually go to certain homes that are given to us and where the Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus. And we actually have Santa and Mrs. Claus. They do take that time to come in the bus with us and deliver these toys to the kids. So let's just review, where can people go today? Today you can go to Target in Dartmouth. You can go to Walgreens here in New Bedford, 24 hour store. You can also go to Walmart and the Fairhaven and the Wonder Bowl. Because the boat will be closed at 2, but Wonder Bowl will accept till 4 and up to Christmas Eve day. And a cushion at 2? Oh, a cushion at 2. I'm sorry, I forgot all about my friends at a cushion because they've been so busy and I haven't had a chance to speak with them. But you can also go to them till 3 
But then next Friday, we're going to be over at Walmart in Fairhaven again. And it's next Saturday, Christmas Eve day, back with our friends here at Target. So Christian is a Christian Police Department? Also, yes. Yep, so you go, go by there until I think it's 3 o'clock. I think I, 3 o'clock, but yeah. again, you can drop toys off up to the 20th of the month. Or get a hold of us through New Bedford Guide, and we'll pick them up up to the 24th of the month. Yeah, you can blow up Jerry's phone. We put the phone number on there. Absolutely. So, the, But the New Bedford Police are accepting kind of throughout the holidays. Yes, they are. They are. Why don't you talk about that? Oh, they have their big sign at all the police stations. They accept toys. We have drop boxes there because they, again, are out there in the valley.